Welcome to MMA Noise. I'm your host, Mike Straka, sitting alongside Philippe Nover. And you've got a fight in December coming up with one of the toughest Russian dudes you're going to face probably in your career. He's a tough kid. I, I think, yeah, all these Russians are pretty tough. So today you were down sparring with uh, a couple of guys in New Jersey. Jersey Strong, Frankie Edgar, Marlon Moraes. Uh, what's it like training out with down at Nicotones? I go there uh, every couple weekends if, the, if I'm able to take the drive out and the talent is deep. They got a lot of lightweights, featherweights who push the pace. Good striking, good wrestling, good wrestling defense. Everything is solid there. A Nicotones gym. I gotta tell you, man, I, I hear this from everybody who trains, uh, you know, at Ricardo's in Hamilton, at, at Nick's, that Frankie Edgar just pushes the pace. Better. I mean, he's like he's yeah. an inspiration to even you guys who are and you guys are already professional fighters and, and he inspires you. I, I don't understand how a guy can train as hard as he does all the time. Yeah, uh, Frankie has been an inspiration since day one, since he's fought back in in the early 2000s and watching him develop, getting better and always staying on top of his game. I'm into fight analysis a lot and I watch a lot of his previous fights, his style, his mental game and he's just he's just a well-rounded fighter and he pushes the pace nonstop. He's one of the hardest working guys in the UFC right now and I believe that. You are a nurse. Yes. And, you know, I remember the first time when you were on the Ultimate Fighter, it was the first conference call you were on and I said, I thought Phil Nurse was the toughest nurse in mixed martial arts. <laughs> But you are the toughest nurse in mixed martial arts. I guess technically saying, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I am a registered nurse, and I've been, as hard as I've been pursuing my martial art career, I believe uh, it's important to have that backbone. You know, God forbid, you know, you, you have something to fall back on, and not only has it allowed me to something to fall back on, I've actually been really successful at it. So I've been a nurse for 10 years, and I have a great job. I work in a, a, a major city, Brooklyn Hospital, and I work in a specialty area, cardiac cath. So, and, and I even got certified. I'm a cardiac invasive specialist, so I study, studied a lot for this. Uh, so, I mean, I'm balancing both careers, but I love doing both somehow. You know, it's, it's a balancing act, though. Do you use, like, the real terms for, like, you lose erythrocytes and leukocytes instead of red blood cells, <laughs> white blood cells? Actually, uh, the coolest <laughs> video, if you guys want to YouTube a video, no. YouTube, Philippe Nover, and he's, he's aspirating his own cauliflower ear. Remember I that video? I am, yes. I put that up a few years ago. It's got a lot of, a lot of hits on it. Actually, I, that's how I learned to do mine. I, <laughs> I, like, I was watching a video, and but you're the only one who actually opened up a clean needle. Oh, everyone, they just took a needle out off the, like, the sidewalk or something? <laughs> 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 you know, it takes a registered nurse to have clean needles, you know. Uh, that's it is true. I do, have, I do have access to, to clean needles, thank God, you know, at well, the hospital. I used to watch Akira Kurosani fight just because I wanted to see his ear blow up. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah I, train, the, I train I know. a lot with Akira. His yeah. ears, it's like another head, man. <laughs> The thing is humongous, and it always bleeds when we're training. And the thing is, like, it has like teeth on it. It's disgusting. He can, he can Akira, use it to hit people. Akira, <laughs> you, yeah, he could be like smacking people with that cauliflower. <laughs> and I kept waiting for it to come off, man. And oh, remember when uh, Kimbo Slice <laughs> was fighting uh, James Thompson from from England, and he hit his ear, and his ear blew oh, up. Oh man, that was disgusting. It's brutal. It's brutal. They say it's harder to stay in the UFC than it is to get to the UFC. Absolutely. I've been I've heard this many times and uh, I mean if you look at my bumpy career I got into the UFC after the show and once I was in the UFC my first stint I got cut after a few losses and then it took me five whole years to get back and here I am back in my second fight and I have another contract so I mean you're talking about five long years on a fight career and I've been fighting for 12 years you know this is a bumpy road and it is harder to stay in because this is the top of the division. This is the Olympics of fighting. So just to stay in and keep winning fights is, is a tough thing to do. But but there are things now these days where people can still make a living outside of the UFC. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you look at uh, guys like uh, Phil Davis. He made, I think he made a, a good decision going to to uh, the Bellator tournament. Now he's in line to fight one of my friends, uh, Liam, you know, and he, he had a good showcase in, in his tournament. My hat goes off to him, and I think I like his fighting style too. I'm a fan of Phil Davis. Well, Liam is <laughs> really difficult to deal with because he's so Absolutely, long and lean. Yeah. I want to see Liam fight John Jones. Yeah, Lee, Liam is just, he's just, uh, it's like fighting like a guy would like, it's like Dalsim. So his arms reach out, yeah. and they, they, he will jab you and his hands come from nowhere, his kicks from, from I mean, And like, his submissions. <laughs> yeah. And you've Tito Ortiz. Yeah. I mean, he, I, look, <laughs> I, I knew that was going to happen. Tito was like, and Tito was a horrible actor, man. He, 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 he smacks the canvas like, oh, dude. Yeah, like, dude, you're, a, you're about to pass out, dude. Yeah. With Liam, you know, I, I knew if he if Tito tries to engage too much on the ground, he is so tricky. Liam is so tricky over his back, so. You know, you got. That was an, that was that was an inverted sort of weird ass triangle choke. Yeah, and it's there. It's yeah. there. 
You know, his legs. When are your so, legs are that long. Yeah, there's there's a, a variety of submissions you can attack with the triangle, and he he capitalizes that on on the guys at the gym, and he absolutely does it in 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 the cage. Are you on Tinder? No, I'm not on Come Tinder. On. You're on Tinder. No, no, you I'm have a not. Girlfriend now? I have a girlfriend. Full time yeah. girlfriend. Full time girlfriend. She actually is. Uh, she actually was runner up for. Um, UFC Octagon Girl Search Manila. Oh, really? Yeah, her name's Christine, so I give her a shout out for trying. She actually made it up Good to number her. two. So she's been a big supporter and she's pretty hot too, and she's a nurse, so. Oh, I, I can't I can't do the Tinder thing right now. All right. She'll kill me, I'll come home, she'll freaking like, she'll inject me behind my back with something, <laughs> who knows? She's a nurse, so she'll kill me too. That about does it for uh, this edition of MMA Noise with Philippe Nover and Mike Straka, the dynamic duo that we are. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>